No amount of money can ever address the intense pain or trauma caused by this death to George Floyd's family or to the people of our city. Minneapolis has been fundamentally changed by this time of racial reckoning. A big development out of Minneapolis as the city council there agreed to pay George Floyd's family $27 million. Floyd was killed after former police officer Derek Chauvin pressed his knee on Floyd's head during an arrest back in May of 2020. CBS News correspondent Michael George reports now on the landmark settlement and the latest on the murder trial underway. Hi. There are 13 eyes. The Minneapolis City Council's decision to settle a lawsuit with George Floyd's family for $27 million was unanimous. The settlement is not just historic because of the $27 million paid out, but for the impact on social justice, policy reforms, and police reforms. Floyd's shocking Memorial Day death under the knee of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin sparked outrage, setting off a summer of nationwide protests and a global reckoning on racial justice. This nation needs healing. Our family needs healing. One of George Floyd's brothers, Philonis Floyd, said he would give back the settlement if he could get his brother back and thanked those who spoke out in his name. All the protesters for standing, especially during a pandemic where you didn't have to. Yes. You put your lives on the line. As jury selection continued Friday in Chauvin's murder trial, Floyd family attorney Ben Crump said it's the biggest pretrial settlement ever for a civil rights claim. The settlement includes half a million dollars for the South Minneapolis neighborhood where Floyd died after Chauvin pressed his knee on Floyd's neck for about nine minutes. Chauvin's trial is set to begin at the end of the month. Michael George, CBS News. In July, George Floyd's family filed the federal civil lawsuit against Minneapolis, Chauvin, and three other officers charged in his death.